Hi. Uh, I had some questions about using sprite sheets, and people were curious, like, how do you how do you make these sprite sheets, right? So, I put together a very simple example here, um, and here's my my example um, completed. Um, and you know, it's just a toggle button, so you can tap it, and it switches between two um, two images in the sprite sheet. Here's a, another one, right? So uh, you know, my sprite sheet looks like this. Here's the two pictures. There's the first one, and uh, here's the second one. And so it's just two frames. Okay. So how did how did I make this? Well, let's take a look at um, at the first one in uh, in Illustrator. So in Illustrator, you can see I have two images, right? Or really, it's just one big picture, but there's two frames in here. And what I've done is I've turned on the grid. And I set the grid to 64-pixel um, guide. So you can see the slightly lighter guide or slightly thicker guide is the 64-pixel mark. And then here's another 64. So each of these sprites is 128. That's 64 times 2. And then there's another 128, right? By, um, I think this one's 32 tall, OK? And then here's the other one. I, I did it very similar. This one's 40 tall, and it's still the 128 wide. So the key thing here is that the images in the sprite sheet fall exactly in the center of their frame, so they align with the next frame, so that way you know, it looks like we're, we're, you know, the image is changing from here to here, but, you know, the, the stuff inside here is not shifting around, right? So how did I make this? It was pretty easy. I uh, made a new document in Illustrator. I turned on the, um, the grid, and then I went to the preferences and decided how big my sprites were going to be. So I, you know, I made some mental calculations and said, well, you know, my sprites are going to be about 120 pixels or something. So I, um, I set the grid for 64 by 64. And then this is the subdivision, so the number of lines between each major grid line. You can set that here. Eight seemed to be a good number. It's what the default was. And then here is my document. Now, you know, e e every one of these grid boxes, if your sprites were going to be 64 by 64, you could just draw a, an image inside every one of these grids, right? And you could have a whole page full of them. Um, I only wanted to do two frames. And my frames are actually going to be two um, grid units wide. So what I needed to do here is resize my document. So I'm going to grab the, um, the artboard tool, and I'm going to turn on um, Snap to Grid. And then I'll drag this up, and you can see it's snapping to the grid lines. And I'm going to drag it in a little bit also. So what I need here is I need four, I need four grid units across. So one, two, three, and four, right? Wait, no, I got five here. Hold on. Let's see. Oh, there we go. There's four, right? Okay. So, uh, so I have my four grid units, and um, I'll draw um, one of my images in each one of these boxes. So uh, let me make it a little bit shorter. It's a little too tall. Let's make it maybe four units tall okay and I'll you know I'll grab the ellipse tool here and uh, draw a circle there and then I'll draw a circle here and now remember uh, let's get the rulers remember my the d if I have two frames here this guide is the divider between the two frames okay so uh, you know maybe I'll I'll finish up my button here and draw this as quickly as possible here. There we go. And then maybe I want to, um, you know, copy this. I'll select it, paste it. And now when I place the other button, 
in the other grids or, or in the other grid square here for the other frame I want to make sure that it's in exactly the same spot as it is over here so this one you can see it's aligned one you know subdivision in and then this one this corner is aligned one subdivision in. so there's a margin you know the eight you know pixel margin around the outside here right okay so now they're both they're both in there and then you know I could fill this in however I want um, let's kind of snap this to the um, to the grid here and then I'll drag this end over so maybe it's half as wide and uh, put this here copy it paste it over there right now I have my two button states and uh, you know you could set a you know gradient fill and whatnot I'll just make it quickly um, green and uh, yellow or something right so there's there's my two my two um, colors there for my two buttons right two button states I'll save the file and now my last step is to export this and so to export it um, I'm gonna choose save for web file save for web and in the save for web dialog box you can see I have all of the space here so I'm exporting the entire document that's why I changed the size of the artboard okay and in Illustrator there's this option over here that says clip to artboard so um, if I turn that off you'll see that it trims the image to just the, the the area around the artwork and if I do this my sprite sheet isn't going to work correctly because the two frames are now a different size you can see on this one there's some margin you know if we divided this right in half there would be margin on the right side and this one over here would have margin on the left so you know if we use these one the size here is not 256 anymore so they're they're smaller frames than I expected and then the artwork is going to shift left and right as we switch from one frame to the next so I'm gonna check this option here clip to artboard and then I'll save my file I'll put it in this folder here okay and uh, there we go right so uh, here's what I have in my folder So here is the um, the Corona project, and uh, you know I have uh, you know I have these two buttons here already, and so to load up the sprite sheet, you know my sprite sheet is called uh, it's called toggle number three because I already did a did one and two when I was testing this right. So so to make another sprite sheet, I'll just call this T three sheet. And then I'll say graphics dot new image sheet. And then I think the file is called, you know, toggle three dot PNG. Right. Let's just verify that. Right. So uh, I think I saved it in a folder here. Oops. You know what? I, I, I saved the illustrator file here that would have caused a problem that's oh no that, I guess that's not a problem because I have the artwork here too let me move this out of the folder but this is the artwork that we're going to use right there's my image and then you know I need to put a comma here and include the width and the height now let's talk about the width and height for a minute here so in my case this is, you know, you know, in, in, in actually in all cases, this is the width and height of each frame. Okay, so my document is actually um, 256. For some reason it's not showing the, you know, like right when you need to do it, it doesn't show you the right size. This one shows the size, but these are actually the same size, but this one shows 256 by 32, but that's two frames. So since I have two frames here, and you know they're they're arranged horizontally the width here is 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 the width of both frames right so each frame is actually only hundred and twenty eight right and since I only have one frame 
tall, the height here, 32, is the height of, of each frame. So each, each frame here is 128 by 32. Okay, and so the last, the last option here that I need is the number of frames. So I'll set num frames to 2. Okay, and if I save, you can see Corona updates, but I don't see the new sprite sheet here, but I didn't get an error. So this line of code is executing just fine, right? So now if I want to make a new sprite from this, I'll say local, how about let's call it T3, equals display dot new image sheet. Okay, so that's not too bad, right? Uh, or not new image sheet. Wait, wait, hold on. Uh, sorry, error, error. Sorry about that. Um, new sprite. Okay, so display dot new sprite. I already did the new image sheet. <coughs> and then what I want to do is take my image sheet here and make that the first argument and follow it up with some options. So I'm going to say now start frame one and let's have a count of two frames so this sprite is now going to be you know made from the t3 image sheet it'll start on frame one and be two frames long okay so now i can see it up in the corner here and if i want to position it on the screen i can say t3 dot you know x equals 160 and t3 dot y equals, I don't know, let's say 160. I don't know, it's not such a good number, right? Uh, oh, look, there's my new sprite sheet, okay? And if you wanted the sprite sheet to play, you could say T3 colon play. And there it is. It's cycling through its frames as fast as possible, right? Um, I don't actually want this one to, to animate, but, it, you know, you could set the time up here too if you like. So you could say time equals you know 500 and now the frames would cycle twice a second okay um, I'm gonna get rid of the play there and let's make a function so I'll say local function tap t3 and then I'll you know add an event object here and put end on there. And now, um, whenever you tap this, this thing, I want it to call this function. So I'll say T3 colon add event listener. And the event I'm listening for is a tap event. And the function we want to call is tap T3. Okay? And so what happens when you tap T3? Well, so if, if T3 was on frame 1, we want to send it to frame 2. And if it was on frame 2, we want to send it back to frame 1 to create this toggle type effect. Okay? So I'm going to say if T3 dot frame equals frame 1, then let's send it to frame 2. So I'll say t3 colon set frame, okay? And then the frame I want to go to is frame 2. And as an alternative, anytime you have an if statement, you can apply an alternative option. So I'll put in else. And I, I also need an end here for the if statement, so I'll make sure I got my end. If you only have one end at the end here, you, it's not going to work, right? Because we have, uh, you know, function needs a closing end statement, and the uh, if statement needs a closing end, right? So I got both of those. And so now if, you know, if, if we were on frame one, we're going to set the frame to two. And... Uh, you know, if we were if we're not on frame one, then you know we need to go back to frame one. So I'll put one in there. So now that I, I did that, I can tap and you can see it switches from frame to frame. Okay.
So there you go. So there's a simple example. I'll post this somewhere um, with the video, and you guys can uh, get the sample artwork there. But there's there's a quick example um, showing you how to set up the sprite sheet, and you could you could expand this idea to many more frames. Um, I just did the two here just to get the the idea across.